The unit of time is the second, which used to be based on the length of a day. As we know, it takes a day in duration for the Earth to revolve once on its axis. The details of Earth rotation and timing, please check our tutorial on Earth's rotation in the description below. However, as days are not all of exactly the same duration, now the second is defined as the time interval for a certain number of energy charges to occur in the cesium atom. It is to be noted that most of the cases the cesium atom high state energy charges are mainly counted. This is also known as atomic clock. Now let us explore submultiples and multiples of time. Submultiples of time are 1 decisecond equals to 10 raised to the power of minus first second. 1 centisecond equal to 10 raised to the power of minus second second. 1 millisecond equals to 10 raised to the power of minus third second. 1 microsecond equals to 10 raised to the power of minus sixth second. 1 nanosecond equals to 10 raised to the power of minus ninth second. However, the most widely used submultiples of time are millisecond, microsecond, and nanosecond. A multiple for large time is 1 minute equals to 60 seconds, 1 hour equals to 3600 seconds, 1 day equals to 84600 seconds. Before we discuss about the time measuring devices used in physics, I would like to request you to watch the video on what is time. The video is on how time is viewed in different school of thoughts and disciplines. The link of the video is in the description below. Any time measuring device rely on some kind of constantly repeating oscillation, either mechanical or electronic. Repeating oscillation resulting in a periodic waveform and this periodic waveform is used as an interval in timekeeping device. In traditional clocks and watches, a small wheel known as the balance wheel oscillates to and fro. This balance wheel repeated oscillation creates interval for time measurement. Widely known as grandfather's clock, a swing pendulum controls a pendulum clock. Here, swinging pendulum goes to and fro. In digital clocks and watches, the oscillations are produced by a tiny quartz crystal. Other than keeping the time progression, we need purposeful timekeeping instruments such as a stopwatch. A stopwatch is adequate for finding the period in seconds from starting of an event and ending of the event. For example, of a stopwatch is adequate for finding the period in seconds of a pendulum, but to measure the speed of sound or maybe the speed of a racing car, a clock that can time in milliseconds is needed. To measure very short time intervals, a digital clock that can be triggered to start and stop by an electronic signal from a microphone, photo gate, or mechanical switch is useful. Ticker tape timers or data loggers are often used to record short time intervals in motion experiments. Accuracy can be improved by measuring longer time intervals. Rather than just one, several oscillations are timed to find the period of a pendulum. For example, a 10 ticks rather than ticks are used in ticker tape timers. For any queries, send email to rhkstore.co.uk.gmail.com or write in comment section. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, do share and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Stay home and stay safe.